Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. You can tell by my hair I may be a little frazzled this morning. It's a not really an official holiday here, but it's election day, which means no one is working because they claim they need time to think, to line up at the polls. I did not know this. So last night I was finishing up some projects, thought I had all day today to do work. And my husband says, so I'm thinking tomorrow I'll take you shopping. And I'm like, Hi, who are you and what have you done with my husband? If there's one thing that you've learned from over the last several months is that my husband's a workaholic, right? He's at a meeting right now, actually. So even on his day off, he's at a meeting. So for my husband to say, let's go for lunch and take you to get some stuff for the trip is like earth shattering. He's already taking off Friday and I don't know how many more days because the trip is a surprise and now he wants to take his day off and go shopping? This is not my husband. Clearly, uh, he's trying to do something special. But here's the thing, folks. He did not obviously look around the other room. Last night, I did not clean up, which is rare for me, and it's because I am mid, mid, mid making, and I couldn't put everything away or it would have been ruined because we just don't have the storage here, and I don't like leaving a mess. It makes me crazy. Like, I woke up this morning and my stomach churned because I looked around and it's like, it's like scrapbook.com threw up in here. Seriously, that's what it looks like. There is craftiness on every centimeter of this place. Every inch is covered, and it made me crazy this morning. Like, my first instinct was to just clean everything up, and it's very hard for me to make in chaos. I do much better making art when everything is calm and clean and organized. And then I can make a hoplop mess. But I need the place to be organized and clean. But last night I was mid-project and stuff needed to dry. So I couldn't put it away. Because we don't have safe storage for when things are drying here. So I had to leave it out. So I, was, I looked around I'm like, clearly my husband has not seen the crafty mess that is everywhere. For him to suggest I just leave everything, go for lunch with him, have coffee leisurely, and go buy a couple of sweatshirts for the trip. And is this really how he wants to spend what may be his only half day off? I mean, the only thing that, only person I know who dislikes clothing shopping as much as I do is my husband. I, look, this girl can go into an art store, a craft store, a fabric store, a paper store, and easily shop for hours. And you know I can do some damage, because you've seen it. You've seen the rack packages, and you've seen the stuff that I've purchased for art supplies. But ask me to go clothes shopping, and I'm like, Yawn, yawn, yawn. Unless I'm buying clothes to alter for wearable art. That's a, that's part of the art purchase. That's different. But regular clothes shopping? Oh, please. Just pull out a toenail. Please. So I didn't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I think he was expecting me to be excited. And I was like, mm. So I thought I had the whole data craft. Clearly, I don't. Clearly, I'm going to have to leave this crafty mess and go meet my husband and have some lunch and some coffee, and go do a little clothes shopping, yawn, and then when I come back, I'll have a little resty rest, and then I will start again on the making, and probably I'll do some cleaning up too. That is my day, folks. I wonder what you're up to on this Tuesday. Hopefully it's something that makes you happy. If you're working, I hope it goes super quick, and I hope it's easy for you too. To the, our friends in our community who are working through some Pretty significant issues. Miss Jellybean Junction, we're so happy to have you back. Miss Pat Sweeney, we know you're still struggling, and that concerns all of us. And to Sabrina Kay, I know she's been struggling also with a lot of pain. Hopefully, you're, hopefully you'll get a little reprieve before the surgery. I hope. If not, please just anything we can do to help you, we will do. And it's nice to see Miss Alicia Love Letter Generation back. Isn't it amazing what time to yourself gives you? If that isn't a lesson, folks, nothing is. Alicia said it herself, two days into her annual leave, and she is feeling so much better. And that just means she's stretched, right? Like many of us, we do too many things, we have too many responsibilities, and so many folks rely upon us. And sometimes we just need a break. It's just that simple. All right, folks, that, that is my chit-chat for this morning. I better go get ready, because I guess I'm going clothes shopping. Hmm. You can tell how excited I am, right? I'd much rather be finishing these projects. All right, y'all. I'll see you later on today. Bye for now.